1672, had thought light was made of particles. Hawke thought it was a weight. Maxwell's equations describing light's behavior also made the debate die down until the photoelectric effect was discovered a few years later. Tell me, in the photoelectric effect, where do electrons get their energy from? Photons. So imagine you have this piece of metal and you have electrons there. Mm -hmm. Those electrons are bound to the nucleuses in the atom. A photon with the right type of light and the right type of frequency hits the electron, it can knock the electron loose. Really? Okay, wow. The free electron is called the photoelectron. I see, okay. It, it has a ma mass, and v mass and even velocity, so we can calculate so we can calculate the kinetic energy of this photoelectron. Really? So, um, so just for example, if a photon uh, with a wavelength of 525 nanometers hit a uh, metallic cesium atom, um, could, you, um, could you figure out the velocity of the photoelectron? Ke is half mv squared. This one applies to physics. Uh -huh. And Ke is also the energy of a photon minus the, the work function, which we're going to say not. There are, there are about 91 metals in the periodic table, uh -huh. each with their own work function. Oh, okay. Um, do you know what the work function is for metallic cesium? I think work function is maybe it's... Maybe. 8.43 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. So, wait, so. first let's find the energy of the, f of the photon. That will be necessary for finding the kinetic energy. And we want to find the velocity, right? Yes. So, half of Ke also has an equation with the photon. So, so a method, a method, and that we can use later is e photon minus e work function is equal to half mv squared. Oh, very good. So for now, let's focus on the energy of the photon. E photon is hc over the wavelength. Uh-huh. So that's equal to Planck's constant is 6.626 times 10 raised to negative 34 times the speed of light. Uh -huh. If you if you find it in decimality, then you would actually get this value. Uh-huh. It's a good estimate. This divided by the wavelength. 525 nano stands for 10 raised to the negative 9. Uh-huh. So that's the energy of the photon? Uh, not yet. We have, oh, don't forget about the bottom of the fraction. Uh-huh. So, 19.864748, divide that by 525, and you get 0.0378. Hmm, this calculator is really good. Hmm, oh, well, it's, uh, you're doing a good job with it. Times 10 raised to the negative 26 plus 9 is negative 17. So 3.78376 times 10 raised to negative 19. That is the value of the energy of the photon. I see. Okay, very good. Use, use E photon minus e, the work function, let's say e naught, is equal to half mv squared. Uh -huh. So, we can plug in, we can plug in our values. So, I'm turning to negative 19 minus 3.43 times 10 raised to negative 19 equals half mv squared. You can, you can always have a common denominator. 
like in the vision. So, so let's let's work this out. Three point seven eight three seven six one five minus three point four three is point three five three seven six one five. Point three five three seven six one five times how do we to negative nineteen? That's the common denominator. Mm -hmm. As in the division equals half of v squared. So three point five three seven six one five times ten raised to the negative twenty, right? Mm -hmm. Equals half of v squared. Very good. We multi we now we'll multiply both sides by two. So three point five three seven six one five. Multiply that by two. Is seven point zero seven five two three. So seven point zero seven five two three. And please, so yeah. Times ten raised to the negative twenty equals half. Is it equals m v squared? Very good. Because point five uh, two. I'm pretty sure it is the reciprocal is a point five, which is half. Uh huh. I think you're right about that. So now, what you're gonna do? We divide both sides by the mass of an electron. Very good. So we can isolate V. So 7.07523 divided by 9.11 equal uh, times 10 raised to negative 20 plus 31 is 11 mm -hmm. equals to V squared. Good. So 7.07523 Divided by 9.11 is equal to 0 0.7766443466. That's a long list of decimals. It is. And you need to look at this, your calculator for, for some sure amount of time. Mm, so... 0 0.7766443466 times 10 raised to the 11. Mm -hmm. So 7.7664443466 times 10 raised to the 10. Uh-huh. Now we're supposed to take the square root of this. That will cancel out the square. Oh, good. So seven, wait, wait, wait. I see you sneaky square root button. Did you find it? Here. There it is. So the square root of 7.766, 7 sorry, I was looking at the wrong thing. I was looking at this. At least I didn't make a mistake. So 7.766, 7 four, four, Three, four, six. Make the square root of that. Two point seven eight. Hmm. So good. Two point seven eight six eight three three nine four nine. Long list of decimals, eh? Yeah. So. Two. Two point seven eight six six eight three three nine four nine times ten raised to the fifth. Oh, good. So that's so uh, two. So it's followed by five zeros, right? One, two, three, four, five. Two seven eight six eight three three. So it's 2.7 times 10 raised to the 5, yeah. 
Good, wow, that's a, that's a fast electron. Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.